Hello, and welcome to Imaginary Friends. Imaginary Friends, sorry. Asylum. This is, of course, should be the demo because I don't got money to play the actual game. So what's going on here? We got guy of horns, evil guy. Um, there's a woman. Skirt. She might be crazy. There's a guy with a paper. Uh, this random guy. He's tall. He's got this blue thing on him. He's hypnotized. This guy's got a cape. This guy, he looks medieval. He's got a lot of stuff, and this guy probably... Well, he's got a hook, he's some sort of captain, maybe. Not really, he's got this hat. It's not, I don't know what this guy is. What's the settings? I'm actually going to turn the resolution down, because... Well, bail now. What are you doing? What it? What are you doing? I think the other one's better. Yep, this is fine. All right, time to play. Yes. Well, we start with burning. Why is your head on Get your head off the fire. The fire off your head. Why are you sorry? Okay. Something's wrong with these cutscenes in the demo. I wonder if he's pro- it could be a computer problem, but if not, then I wonder if there's problems in the actual game. And it costs $15, I think. Or $16, it really depends if there's a $99. Maybe it's $14.99. I don't, I don't know. But very expensive. I'm, I'm not sure how this game justified that. I'm not really going to know because I'm playing the demo, so... Who are you? You don't look like a woman, do you? Oh, I might be a woman. Anthony Rivers! That's me. You brought some belongings, I see. You won't be needing these anymore. What do you mean? All you need is in the asylum. I will be throwing this garbage away. But... How dare you disrespect me for disrespecting you! Follow me this instant unless you wish to be punished before stepping inside as I am now claiming to be your ruler. What is this? What is uh, the sensitivity? What? I can't control the sensitivity. What is... Huh? Turn that down. Oh. Ah. Uh. Why am I so fast? I said get inside. No! Not yet. You're really testing my patience, kid. Who are y who are you supposed to be? The government? A governor? No, you're not. You're just a random nurse trying to control me because you're so or lonely and miserable that you want to control someone and make yourself feel better. 
Snap and Ozzy trying to get on that desk. I think you know what? I'm gonna pause this OBS. All right, I am back. I know shortcuts tend to do that. Theoretically, I can do a cut, and no one will know that I left. They all think this is one big old. Anyways, I don't know why there will be the option to not go yet. Staff only. I kind of want to go. <laughs> I don't want to get in trouble. You don't? Oh, really? Oh! Oh, how do you know the door is locked? I, I thought you didn't want to get in trouble. What's that? Inconsistent! I said get inside it now! Okay. Well, time to become a slave. You are hereby admitted to have more asylum. You are not to leave a premise under any circumstances as this is now your new prison. You are expected expected to respect the staff as they are your prison guards. If you can't follow these rules, you will face several consequences worse than prisoners get understood. <laughs> you will be sharing a room with other children who are also prisoners. Myself and other staff are very busy, but I trust you can find it yourself. I will allow you to become a prisoner willingly by yourself by tricking you. You will fit nicely in prison in cell 6 in the mail ward. Just like a prison, gosh dang! <laughs> and don't forget to pick up a hospital gown so you can look like a woman in a dress to make fun of you later down in there. What is up with people's obsessions of getting people in dresses or skirts or whatever? It says six. Me not know the way. What does this read? Perform procedures. Is this it? This isn't right. How do you know? Because I don't know. If I don't know, then how do you know? I wasn't told anything. I'm going upstairs. How is it not the right way? It is the best way, actually. How do you know this is it? Like, you can't even tell the difference. What? There's... There's no... What? There's no long hallway? This is just one room. Oh, there's a robot boy in here. There's a cross. Every horror game loves to use it. Well, being forced to become a fin boy. Or a crossdresser, it's more likely crossdresser. Because um, it looks like a dress. You, you can't. You can't tell me otherwise. What am I supposed to do now? Am I supposed to hop on a bed? Maybe this bed's got nothing on it. These are blank. <sighs> you 
Yep, they're experimenting on the people here. Who would have known? Well, poor kid got their hand chopped off. Another one got this weird thing sticked in them. The photo. So, there's no. Well, what happened to this kid? Um. Um. Uh, uh, how long has that been there? Has it been there when I did this? Huh? Oh, hello. You're a new kid, huh? What's your... What's your name? Hello, my name is Anthony. Anthony, huh? I am the Colo. I've been here longer than anybody. So if you have any questions, come to me anytime. How long have you been here? I've been here since I was free. I expect I will be doomed to live in nut houses my whole life. Everyone thinks I'm a lunatic. That's awful. I appreciate the sentiment. Anything else you'd like to know? Who's that standing next to you? Wait. You can see him too? Yes. Why? That's Paolo, my imaginary friend. Not many others can see him. He's the only one I've been able to rely on here. I'm sorry to hear that. For some reason, I don't know, this is illogical though too. In any case, if you're able to see Paolo, you will likely see other strange things around here, too. Like what? The ghost of the asylum. Rumor has it that he's an imaginary friend of the asylum itself. There's a ghost here? Probably a good idea to steer clear of him. If you can. I appreciate the warning. Well, regardless, you have to change into a hospital gown quickly. It will be 9 a.m. soon. That's when our routine starts. Oh, yes, the routine where we get experimented on. I have a gown on, what do you mean? So can I talk to this guy? Ugh! The nurses here are an utter disgrace! I agree. It's a pleasure to meet another individual of soph sophisticated taste. Hey, did you see your schedule yet? What schedule? I guess they didn't tell you. They probably put a file by your bed. It should say what they expect from you here. I'll go check. Hmm, ah oh, gee, I wonder which bed is mine. It it's gotta be this one. I try to press control, by the way. 
Patient, Anthony Rivers. Living quarters, room 6, male ward. Description, 8-year-old child. I didn't know I was... I had a suitcase. I had a briefcase or something. What? I met in January 16, 1949. After parents reported a hallucinogenic episode, behavioral issues, and a suicide attempt. Suspected defects, schizophrenia, treatment plan, insulin, coma, therapy beginning at 9.30 a.m. Monday, Saturday, in the medical ward. So Sunday's the only rest day. Pills with water at lunchtime administered by a nurse at 12 p.m. Daily schedule. Anthony needs to wake up at 6 a.m. every day and be at breakfast at 6.30 a.m. sharp. Tidiness will result in missing breakfast. Chores begin at 7 a.m. where children are expected to make their beds and clean their rooms. All children must be ready to begin treatments at 9 a.m. and make it to lunch at 12 p.m. Lunch ends at 12.30 p.m., at which point children may utilize free time with calm activities such as playtime or reading. Daily lessons begin with staff at 2 p.m. 2.30 p.m. Failure to behave during the lessons will result in the child being restrained to a padded cell until they are no longer dangerous. Lessons will go on until dinner time, which is from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. After this, children must retire to the rooms for the night. Dinner at 4 to 5. That's weird. That's only like 4 hours after lunch. I'm guessing there's not much at lunch. Da, 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 da. Hey, the schedule begins now. This is your first day. So I'll give you my advice. Okay. Don't dawdle. Listen to everything the staff says. And for his sake, try to avoid attention. Why, why, why his sake? What? What? Brona, Fortuna, Amico Mio! Why you do this? Anyways, I gotta go. There you are! You're late! Do you think this whole place revolves around you? You're lucky I'm not putting you in the Punishment cell for this. I'm sorry. The other nurses are waiting in the operating room upstairs to give you your treatment. Now go already. You don't know where to go. Uh, it says upstairs. upstairs so I need to go upstairs operating room is this way it's gotta be these two are the bathrooms punishment cell I was certain it said up, she said upstairs.
Can I get a repeat? I don't know what I'm doing. What? What are you still doing down here? I forgot something. Well, hurry it up! They're waiting in the operating room upstairs. Okay, so it's up. Wait, that's a surgery room. Anthony Rivers, right? That's me. Good. Let's begin your treatment. Let's begin your treatment. Give me your arm. Let me infect your body with a virus to make you crazy. Sleep tight. So, what do you think about him? He's perfect. He's just what I've been wanting. The Ozzy has arrived. I see you're awake. Tell me, Anthony. Are you feeling calm? Well, you see, I tell the truth. Apparently, it's no, so. I don't feel calm at all. I see. We'll have to increase your dosage next time, then. It's almost lunchtime. Don't be late for lunch unless you want to miss it. I don't know what to do, what they want me to do. Hey! How was your treatment? They stuck a huge needle in me and I fell asleep. Sounds like insulin therapy. I knew a kid who had that done before. What do you mean, new? Well, it's time for daily lessons soon. This is our only other free time. Other than before bed, feel free to do whatever. I'm going to write a letter to my parents. You still trust your parents after? Never mind. A pencil, paper, and envelope. It's hard being this dashing. You relate, no? So a pencil paper envelope.
game's not gonna continue until I find the items. I should go back to my room to write the. I should probably change up the voice I'm using for this character because it is an eight-year-old boy. So <laughs> I think I, I think I got a voice. I'll get it, is that a... okay. Dear Mom and Dad, I made new friends today. Their names are Niccolo and Apollo. They have lived here since they were three years old. They are both pretty nice. We're roommates now. The nurses are really mean. Today they gave me a big shot and it made me fall asleep. The. The what? No! I'm missing a lord! No! It's 12 p.m. I should head back. I should head to the lunchroom now. I don't know how to get there, so jokes on you. Is this the way? No. I don't understand. Where's where's this lunch room? Wait a minute. Is it downstairs? I don't understand where I'm supposed to go I'm lost in this maze Oh, it's right here Mr. Rivers, you are due to take your pills now. Okay, I'll take them. I am supposed to make sure you take them. And I don't feel like standing here all day, so get to it. Before I go, make sure you eat every 
last bite of that food. Wasting food is not allowed here. Since you took so long, lunchtime is almost over now. You better be back in your room before then. Hey! You're new year, aren't you? Yes, I just arrived today. What? There's a blue guy, I forgot my kept your curse up. I thought so. I'm Edward. And behind me is my little brother Tommy. He can't talk. Though, so, what's your name? I'm Anthony. We heard from Niccolo that you be rooming with us. It's nice to meet you. Likewise. By the way, you don't... You don't see anything, do you? What do you mean? Niccolo mentioned you could see his imaginary friend. Prove it. What do ours look like? One of them is green. And the other one is blue. We can hear you, you know. I'm twisty. My name's Munch. Hello, it's nice to meet you guys. Well, lunch is almost over. We'll be going now. Catch you later. And catch you in the room later. I have free time until 2.30, but I'm gonna find a book to read. Hi, Tommy. Hi, new friend. Hello. Tommy is super happy to have a new friend. And so am I. I'm happy to hear that. Maybe we can all paint a picture together sometime. But it's okay if you don't want to. Tommy and I are happy you're here. Er, um, not happy that you're here, but more like happy we can be friends. Me too. I sure hope we can all leave someday soon. Hey again. Tell me something about yourself. Smudge and I are brothers. I could definitely tell. No, I cannot. Eh, eh. Liar! Hello again, my friend! Hey, Paolo. I wish to be free from this place. I am like a beautiful butterfly trapped 
inside my cocoon here. What does that mean? I, uh, I'm not sure. I read it in a book somewhere and it just spoke to me. Hey, what's up? I'm looking for a book to read. Do you know where any books are? There's one next to my bed if you wanna try it. It's not very good though. Thanks, I'll check it out. Can I read your thing? Gosh dang it. No, there's a bed somewhere. Bed somewhere. There's a book somewhere. Wow, there's so many books. I can't wait to, uh, oh. And so my days at half more children's asylum began. I read books to help the miserable time pass by. And I sent my parents one letters often. I never got any letters back. To this day, I don't know if they, are, if they ignored my letters, or if the nurses withheld personal mail from patients. I wonder what we'll have for breakfast today. More slop? Probably the same dis probably the same dismal sludge that he served most days. I'd go for some sausage and eggs. I miss what mommy used to make. I I bet mom is making breakfast and dad is reading the newspaper right now. I wonder if they even miss me. I should use the bathroom to get ready for today. Okay. To the bathroom I c what are you doing? Let me walk! Ew. It won't 